People are actually around the world are starting to believe that we never put a man on the moon. You know, they're saying that the moon landing was a hoax. Can you believe that? And just, just, just answer that. It's okay. <laughs> That's what they say. They say, why haven't the Chinese done it? You'd think they'd want to do it, right? You'd think they'd have the, you think they'd have the technology that we had in the 60s, right? <laughs> <laughs> think the Chinese have the technology we had in the 60s, maybe? But they say, they say like the shadows and the photos are all going in the wrong direction and they analyze it, they say there must be an artificial light source like we shot it at Area 51, like Stanley Kubrick shot it. They say like the blast pattern underneath the ship isn't there, so it must be on a set, right? They say there's a radiation field around the world that makes it impossible. You know, they say all these different things, but the thing that, that honestly, that I find interesting about it and pops out and grabs my attention the most is they say that Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon, has never given a television interview. I mean, have you ever seen him on Oprah? Neil Armstrong, first man on the moon. Where's Neil Armstrong? In the sky. Yeah, maybe he's in Cincinnati. Maybe that's what the fuck it is. Yeah. Why hasn't he been on Oprah, though? You know, instead, last month, Oprah has on... Uh, Tito Ortiz and Jenna Jameson. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know why Neil Armstrong can't get on Oprah. Because he hasn't sucked 2,000 cocks, right? Yeah. Come on, Oprah. Come on. Come on, Oprah. You can hear me. You can hear me, Oprah. How many cocks does Neil Armstrong have to suck? People come yeah. out. And they just, they've run out of anecdotes, you know, yeah. and they, and, uh, and they just start making stuff up. Yeah. Like that Neil Armstrong guy. Have you seen him on the talk shows? Neil Armstrong, you mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, and they're buying it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a, a group of social criminals. These people in the space program, nassholes I call them, is that the United States is gonna go to Mars, okay? Oh yeah, we're gonna go to Mars. And then of course, we're going to colonize deep space. Or create a massive global hoax. <laughs> what Ernie's referring to is the Apollo 11 moon landing that supposedly, supposedly. <laughs> took place on July 20th, 1969. To quote Neil Armstrong, this is one small step for man. And one giant lie to mankind. Look, uh, if people think the government lies to them about really? everything, yet they want to say that, oh, yeah, the Earth's the globe, though. So wait, the government lies to you about everything, but you still believe NASA? NASA's like the biggest, like, deception ever. So you're a flat earther, too? <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, just, it's just funny because, like I said, people will believe that everything is a lie, but, oh, no, the Earth is definitely a ball. Think about this. Like, everything NASA shows, you can tell it's CGI. <laughs> what do you, do you think the planet on Earth is flat, Snoopy? It's a flat world after all. Mm -hmm. You sure believe whatever you want. The world is flat. Vaccines are poison. The when people witness the space shuttle take off or a rocket take off from Cape Canaveral, where does it go? That's why when you see it go up, it starts to go on a curve. Because it's fucking goes on a curve until it's out of sight. And then they just cut to this, you know, studio footage of, oh, yeah, we're fucking up in space. Look at us go. Hey. Oh, my God. So all the astronauts are just actors. Actronauts. After knots. Oh my God! I can't wait to see Chris Hadfield. Can't wait to see Chris Hadfield and tell him that my buddy thinks he's an actor. I can't wait to see him space. either and say, "Nice try, bud. Didn't fool me." So though. Chris Hadfield has never been to space, is what you're telling me? Never. No one has. Oh, no one has. Bud, Ricky. No. Get in the back. You have Hieronymus Bosch. Oh yeah. Painting planet Earth when many thought that the Earth was still flat. So it represents to me the, the promise of the future and enlightenment. And it's representational of your view here as well. I wanted to 